Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... You'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear, you're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. My respects to you. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzig sent. Yes, that's me. Get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Very well, then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Good strike. I lure you, then attack unexpectedly. Oh. Fine. That's enough. My work cut out, it seems. That's life. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, 
do an uppercut. My sword is low. Lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Not bad. No, not like that. All right. No, that's not it. Very good. Very good. Very good. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Let's go! All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. And the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. <clears throat> Not like that! Well done! Ah, that's it! No, that's not it! Ah. Wrong! Ah. Not like that! Ah, that's it! Fine, now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Well done! Ah. Well done! Very good! And the last thing for today, a trick! raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Wrong! Again! Wrong! Again! What's Very good. Uh. Nice. Uh. No, not like that. Uh. Wrong. Again. Uh. All right. Uh. Not bad. Uh. Nice. Well now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. Yet, I guess Razzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow. Go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. 
No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. Didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand, ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent! Then let's go! Ah! 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 Ah!
the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Adzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen too. Now, go to the Rathaus. House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. God be with you. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. And Sir Radzig appointed. Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Farewell. <laughs> 